They are lifesavers in battle, but 200 field medics have been killed in Iraq and Afghanistan over the years. Now, the Uniformed Services University of the Health Sciences is working to reduce this number to zero. Our colleague Jonathan Elias was invited for a peek at half. Saving a life in the field of battle is dangerous work. Medics get shot at, are rocked by explosions, not a place where you can make a mistake. Don't let me die! Don't let me die! But here at the Uniformed Services University, the world's largest simulator for medical field personnel, you can make mistakes and live to tell about it. What have I, what have I signed up for? Today's small class is getting ready for the WAVE simulator. That stands for Wide Area Virtual Environment, and it is huge recreating an Iraqi village in great detail. There are sound effects. We can also include smell effects if necessary. There are smoke effects. We have actual air cannons that will fire projectiles and essentially make it as challenging and as shocking as we can. Erickson Dawson is program's manager here. His job? Get medical personnel ready for what they are about to experience. There are animated figures on the screen who are shooting at the trainees, and then the trainees have the opportunity to shoot back. And the technology is such that they can actually neutralize that threat uh, on screen. Charlie 6, this is Charlie 2 3, combo check over. Charlie 2 3, loud and clear. And now, Major Roderick Bowser is going in. He and his two comrades think that they're meeting village leaders, but it's an ambush. Hey, come in! Down, get down! Within seconds, rocket propelled grenades are flying at them, and gunmen are shooting at them. Ah! His comrade is hit. You're gonna be all right. Applying a tourniquet to stop the bleeding, returning fire, move in, move in. and getting her to a helicopter. We got one GSW right arm. Tourniquet applied, possibly three minutes ago. Adrenaline is pumping, and their actions are being closely monitored. And for Major Bowser, he's glad to get this kind of training. This is about as close to a real life scenario you're gonna get without actually being in the combat zone in theater. Here's the thing to keep in mind. When the wars started, since that time, more than 200 medics have been killed out in the field. It's this kind of training they're hoping that will save lives. We salute those at the university for putting together such an amazingly vivid and realistic simulator with just one goal in mind, to do that, save lives. Now, if you know somebody or a group that is working to make the lives of our service people that much better, they could be retired, they could be active, doesn't matter. Let me know about it so we can recognize them here with one of our seven salutes. That simulator is absolutely amazing. The guys who put that together, it makes our studio look small. It's huge, uh -huh. and everything is a part of it. What you smell, what you see, and they went into great detail to design an Iraqi village from all the troops who've come back. Wow. And everything that happens, that's a real-life scenario. You're talking to villagers or leaders, and next thing you know, an ambush. Wow. Invaluable experience yeah, for good them. Stuff. Thank you, John. You bet.